Hey guys, what's up? It's Laura from Laura Marie Plans and today I'm back with the start of my October haul. It is absolutely crazy that it's already October, but I just have my two mysteries from Scribble Prince Co. and Class Press, as well as a small Scribble Prince Co. order. I actually think I have some more happy mail um, in my mail room, um, but I haven't gotten it. I am like going through it right now. My dog just had really intense surgery and he's just been so in pain and needy and like it's just been a lot. So hopefully maybe that also means I won't have as long of a haul because all my money had to go to that surgery but who knows at this point. So this was October Mystery 2022 from Scribble Prince Co. This is probably... I think one of my favorite mysteries so far this year. I can't even remember a lot of them right now, um, but I love anything with Darcy art and I love the like fairy aspect to it and like the snow queen. It's just so cute. I love this bedroom. It's such a dream. I love the pet bed there, the little sandwich heart uncrustables, the snowman. It's just so cute. I am absolutely obsessed with these colors. Definitely using this in January. I love that this girl with her pretty hair and what looks like an Arctic fox, maybe. I'm just so obsessed with this. I love the colors. I love the patterns. Um, I love this pattern especially. So yeah, I'm so freaking excited to do this. And it comes with icons. Um, and look at these extras. So you have this tall box here. Like this girl is just like everything. And then this cute little cottage is so cute. The mirror, some more fashion options. And then like a good one for a quote. So I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I think this is like a 10 out of 10. Amazing. Love it. Love, love, love. Maybe my favorite from the year. And then with that, it came with... I think a sparkly hollow foil bundle, I like, can't even tell now, um, in snowflake pattern. And I love how the bougie boxes are snowflakes. I love how that, how she's been doing that. I think it's so fun. You have the icons, the scripts, the weekend banner here, some deco headers, some deco bits, and some washi and date numbers. So yeah, I'm so obsessed with this. I'm definitely going to use this in January, 2023 for sure getting a number one spot in there so that is the mystery for this month from scribble prince co i do have a code with scribble prince co um if you use the code laura marie 10 you can get 10 percent off your order and then i do have the october october mystery which is also a snowy theme this one's called snowbound and this is from caress press so you have the extra bottom washi strip here and then the first page and then you have this so this really reminds me of like colorado or like veil or something and i'm not gonna lie these dogs make the kit for me my sister has two huskies one is brown and one is black so like i don't know i just think this would be perfect for visiting my sister in colorado she also has a fireplace like this but I really don't know the next time I'm going to go. Um, so I'm like, maybe I should use this for her birthday because her birthday is in February. But it's always like right around um, Valentine's Day. It's always it's on the 12th. So it's quite close to Valentine's Day. So I don't know. I might just use this as like an ode to my sister. But the fact that those huskies, she has that the art has two of them and they're the same exact color as my niece and nephew, Mason and Hazel, is just crazy. Um, but yeah, so just another fun snowy kit. I love this scene. This seems like such a dream. And I love how she did like the two boxes here. I don't know why she didn't just do another fashion here because that could have also worked but you just have so many choices here between the skin tones and hair colors and then you have even more fashion option people so cute so yeah i am really into this one as well i don't i don't know when i like i would definitely use this in january for sure if um i didn't want to use it for something relating to my sister but i don't know like 
it's just so similar to my sister's vibes and like her exact dogs that I feel like I have to use it for something for her but I don't know and then this is the shattered glass I'm pretty sure because it's on sale now um this is the snowflake bundle from caress press so it is in her new format which I love and I love this like fun different hollow look super cute and some bougie boxes so that is the foil that went it with it and that is the snowbound mystery from caress press um i visited my sister last in november 2020 and i needed a kit for her then and it was already snowing then this would have been freaking perfect but obviously it's been like years since then so it is fine i just gotta i really want to use that for something with my sister because it's just like meant to be in my opinion um okay so into my scribble prints co order i got this journaling card here which matches the mystery kit super cute and then i got um kane's freebie which is in this pretty blue color and then I did get doodles for the first time ever. And I'm actually really hyped about it. Um, because I just used them in my last spread. And they were so fun. So I got the color for 046. It's kind of like a white-ish um, gray color. It just matches a lot. So this is sheet 10 oh that's cute um sheet nine i love the like dog food the leash is actually good i might need a whole sheet of these for the dog park i didn't even know she had those and then the paw print's also good sheet eight sheet seven sheet six sheet five sheet four sheet three sheet two and sheet one is all disney so i have those that i this is the first vial bundle i've ever gotten and i'm kind of into it not gonna lie and then i got these two doodles so i got sloan sleeping so i don't like how this character has black hair but then green eyes because i feel like that isn't what I look like so I got this one because you can't see her eyes so I was like that will work um but yeah I have to figure out I guess you can't really see the green eyes I just like wish the eyes were brown like really bad because then they'd look just like me and then I got the little grandparents which look to look like my parents they're not grandparents but they look like my parents and the cane is actually funny because my dad just got knee replacement surgery so he's been like kind of like wobbling. I don't know if he's been using a cane, but I feel like that works. And then I did get a rack bundle, which is always super nice. Oh my God, cool. I'm so here for this. I actually use these. I use them on like my wedding stuff, um, but now I can use these for like Christmas and stuff. So I got rose gold, gold, silver, and hollow, just like bow seals. So I'll definitely use those. And then I just picked up two foil bundles so I first picked up the red and green mixed metal which now I actually don't know if I'm going to use this this year because I only have two spots for Christmas this year and then I'm doing Hanukkah and then I'm going to Thailand and I'm going to have a wedding and was going to do more beachy kits unless like a Christmas wedding kit comes out or a Christmas celebration kits comes out I'm most likely um that I like I'm most likely going to do other kits for the weeks I'm in Thailand, which happened to be over Christmas. So um, I'll use this for another time, but this is really cute. The red and green mixed metal. I really like how that's in the bougie. And I think this is so fun and Christmassy. So yeah, this is definitely good to have just on hand. Um, so I got that and this one is in the sparkle foil bundle. Again, red and green mixed metal. So I got one of those. And then I just picked up the Snow version 1 and version 2 in silver. Which I'm pretty sure was... Um, I don't know what version 1 plus version 2 means. 
but I'm pretty sure this was the one in the mystery kit. I just got another one in silver, which now I'm realizing I'm going to have quite a bit of snowy kits between just those two mysteries I got this month, but we'll make it work. Hopefully it snows. I love the snow. So that is everything I got for this part of the haul and I'll see you guys in the next part. Hey guys, it's literally a day later and I have so much mail. These are both from yesterday and then I do have a large wax melt order uh, from L3 that came in today. So I was like, I'm just going to go ahead and haul this, not put it off. I'm also like worried I'm going to get COVID any second now. My husband, it's currently October 15th and my husband tested positive yesterday and I'm quarantining from him so I'm just like really bored and don't know what to do with my time so that's why I'm filming um but also I'm like oh I'm thinking I'm gonna get it and if I don't get it I'll be very very lucky and basically think I'm immune at that point but yeah I don't know so I have this order in here, which is really exciting because I got the Advent from Scribble Prince Co. I got a foil bundle, I got a rack bag, and some freebies. So I did get this journaling card that matches the October mystery, which is really pretty. And then I got this freebie in this really pretty mint color. And this one is Kirsten's freebie. And then I did get a little rack bag. So we'll open this up. I'm getting rack bags in every order. It's so fun. Um, so I have some silver scripts here, some rose gold fork and spoon icons, some copper deco bits, some wedding. Is this wedding? Yeah, wedding stuff, sorry, in gold. Um, some bows in gold circle icons, some snowflake uh freebie type sheet with headers overlays and deco in silver um some confetti overlays in hollow i don't know this doesn't really look like hollow i don't really know some gold paint strokes some um pink plaid underlay or headers what am i saying bow headers um some rose gold corners and then some star bottom washi and hollow so I will go through that later and then I did go ahead and pick up the shimmer matte bronze and rose gold mixed metal which I'm so obsessed with I honestly feel like I need more of this it's just so pretty I love these two together and I love the full boxes look at this so beautiful um, so yeah, I'm obsessed with this. I love these two colors. I love her rose gold because of how pink it is. So I will definitely find an occasion to use this one. Um, and then into the advent. So if you don't want to be spoiled by the advent, then skip past this. Am I even allowed to put this in? If I'm not allowed to put this in yet, I know she like put some rules, then I'll put this in like a December clip maybe if I remember. Um, but this is the SPC 2022 advent. So skip past this like five to 10, seven, seven to eight minutes, maybe six to eight minutes. And, um, if you don't want to be spoiled. So basically, um, I think she basically said what it was, but I don't think I was paying attention to that video. So it's basically, I got the non envelope type. So it's basically just a bunch of bougie boxes, which I'm obsessed with. Um, I love that she's coming out with like different pattern ones because I love her foil quality and I just love her underlays a lot. So first we have gold grid ones and each one comes with two. Um, some rose gold sparkle, some hollow stripe. Some silver terrazzo. This one's really cute. Um, some sparkly hollow park hopper. Some gold tartan. Tartan? It just looks like plaid to me. Um, some hollow twinkle. I love this one. 
some celestial sparkly hollow, I think. Yeah. Some rose gold hearts. I love that these ones are in rose gold because I always do my Valentine spreads in the rose. Some silver dots. Some gold lux. Reminds me of some Louis. The classic Louis. Um, some hollow stars. And then the freebies, you have two matte bronze, which has like a mix of all those patterns. Two um, champagne lights, I'm assuming. And then two lavender hollow. So I don't know what I'm going to do with all the freebie ones yet. But if y'all have any ideas, let me know. But that is the SPC advent. Oh, and it did come with this little a little bougie um, vinyl, which is cute. I'll probably put that in the front of my planner for next year. So that is that from SPC. And then I do have a Dashing Diva order, which I just want to go through because I think these are fun. Um, I've been really liking putting stickers on my nails and I finally figured out like how to do it right. So it's so much easier. I use like a way better file and I always cut them down and it's just a much easier experience. So some of these were actually like on sale um, and then some of them were full price. So, and also you get shipping after like spending like for like two or three worth of them. Um, so it's just a really good deal because if you go in store, it's much harder to find all the different types of patterns. The ones at all my targets and like typical Walgreens, the stores that you, that usually sell these, they always have the same exact pattern. So I go online and they have way different cute patterns. So this one here is, I got to remember where the name is, Blazing Summer. And I love this one. It has like sparkly bits on the hearts there. And I just like love the flames, the smiley faces. I think this is such a vibe, the checker print. So cute. Um, this one is Summer Spiral and it's kind of like a hollowy nail with smiley faces and then you have like stars and tie-dye. This one here is Field Trip and it's like a purple with some gold and then like a plaid and some pink. This one is Cheetalicious and it's a really pretty pink with some cheetah and then some gold. And then this one is Enchanted Garden. And this one is like a pink and purple with some sparklies. And then all the nails, I really like how all of them have butterflies or flowers on them, the main nails. So you have lots of options there. And then I have Come Together, which is like these bright colors, like red, yellow, blue, and then the like swirly bits, which are really popular. So... I got all those. I usually tend to use like the smallest ones because I have the smallest nail beds. So I don't know. I have like a bunch of leftover ones that I gave to my mom, but I honestly don't think her nail beds are that much bigger than mine. So yeah, that's where I'm at. Um, then I have an L3 order that I just got in today. I've been wanting to place an order with them because they had an RTS like puppy packs with all these Asian scents and I was so enticed and I got them and I'm really excited. So um, I'm going to start off first with the freebies which I haven't smelled these and the rest of the wax melts that I did order I did like a quick sniff of so I'm excited to dive into these now. So the first one we have here is hot apple pie extra vanilla ice cream. I love how generous she is with her freebies. Mm, that one's good. The vanilla ice cream is really strong in that one. This one is Palo Santo Boardwalk Malo Clouds. I don't love that. I don't really love both of those scents, but it's literally a freebie, so I'm fine melting it, like, probably in my study which is where I'm at now. Cheesecake, graham cracker, sugar cookie royale. That one's pretty good. Definitely a lot of sugar cookie royale in that one. So those are the freebies. 
And then into what I got, the first one I got here is a Bitty Betty and it's in thick. Pistachio pudding cake, pretzel, brown sugar, Mexican fried ice cream, and amaretto. And I'm so excited for this one. It's so good. It's so good. I'm so freaking hyped for this one. I recently found out that I love amaretto and pistachio pudding cake. And I'm just like so hyped to get a lot of those scents. I think pistachio pudding cake may be one of my new faves. Um, so yeah, I'm hyped for that. And then I got, what are these called again? like the trig tarts or the fluted tarts. Violet, you're turning violet blueberry muffin, which is blueberry cobbler pretzels, blackberry jam plus blueberry muffin. So just a lot of blueberry bakery in this one. And it's so good. I'm a sucker for blueberry bakery. Like I think it, for me, I'm like strawberry and then blueberry are, are really close on the spectrum to how much I love them, which is saying a lot because I love strawberry scents. And then another blueberry is blueberry cobbler and sugar cookie royale. This is another like fluted tarts. And this one I'm getting just a lot of sugar cookie royale, honestly, not too much blueberry cobbler, but we'll see. I'm sure it'll come out more on warm. And then did I get anything else? I think the rest of the things I got were all puppy packs, which again, I wanted to try all these like fun little Asian puppy packs. There was like also a mystery airhead and then the sticker, which says it matters if you just don't give up. So into the puppy packs I got here. So the first one I got is lychee jelly, which I love lychee jelly. Mm, it's so good. It does it. It's a little florally, but I'm really excited to see how this performs on warm. I love getting lychee jelly in like my bubble teas and stuff. So I'm excited for that. This one is mango cobbler. So good. I love this mango. It's like, oh, it's a really like natural kind of mango in a way. Like it's not as artificial, I'd say, but I really like that. Not that I don't like the artificial mangoes this one's thai coconut i'm not big on coconut but if you don't know i'm half thai so i was like that's cute but also my mom i gave her a wax warmer and she has no wax melts like she just doesn't melt any of the wax melts unless i'm home so i got her this one to melt and i was thinking i could give it to her for like her birthday or something um because she loves thai coconut and this really, it's a really, really, really strong coconut scent. So I think she'll really enjoy that. So I'm going to put that to the side for my mom. This one is Blueberry Cobbler Pumpkin. So good. I love this one. And this one was not part of the, um, this one was like in the fall sense. The rest of these were, um part of the RTS. I don't know. I don't know what it was, but it was a bunch of like Asian scents is all I can say. Um, this was firecracker pop BBW type, which I don't know what BBW type this is. Well, it's firecracker pop, but I've never smelled it, but I think it was called like juicy berries or something. It's pretty good. Um, it's kind of a lot. It kind of gives me a headache, but we'll see how that performs on warm. And then the last one, I have here is mango milk tea, which I always love getting mango fruit tea. I don't like the mango milk teas, but this one's really good. I really, really like that one. I feel like this one and um, the lychee jelly together may be a vibe because that's kind of like what I get in my boba minus the boba. We're missing the boba scent, but... I am really excited for all of those. So that is everything I got from L3 and that is everything for this portion of the haul. Hi guys, what's up? It's Laura and I'm here for another part of my October haul. I have been um, putting off getting my mail and everything. I had COVID. Um, I still kind of have a little bit, but I'm hoping to get through this haul clip. Okay, this is my first time like talking through um, a video so I'm testing it out 
with a haul clip um because I still low-key feel like I'm dying but I just wanted to get some of these stickers hauled and still have this video up so I have this order here from Scribble Prince Co I ordered from their foil sale um so I'm super excited about this order um I do have a code with SPC if you use the code Laura Marie 10 you'll get 10% off your order so go ahead and use that and yeah so I do have the journaling card here which matches the October mystery very pretty I have quite a few of these now um and then I just got Kindness Justice Ruby in this blue color and then into what I picked up again this stuff was all like 30 or 25 percent off I don't remember um, but I picked up some more scripts. I've been loving these. I can't wait for her to come out with them in the foil colors, but I just love the size of these. I especially love these Starbucks ones. So I got more of those. I got the sleepy ones. I got the planning ones. I got the cuddling ones and I got the watching ones. So just some refills on those. And then I also decided to pick up some of the TVs because I ran out of like a lot of the TV, the small TV icons I have, and I just thought these would be perfect to mark them in little things. So I got those in gold, silver, rose gold, and hollow, and then also black, because um, I feel like I can use black with a lot of things. And then I got just some more hollow icons because I was running low on some hollow icons, so I just wanted to pick up some more of these and just both the big and small um, from her new icons from Scribble Prince Co. And then I did get a rack bag which just looks like a matte sampler salt or yeah a matte white sampler I'll probably destash these I don't really use these um I just destashed a bunch actually um but that's that and then I picked up some foil so I first picked up this one let me see if I have my invoice no here's my invoice um so I picked up the Tropical Foil Bundle in silver, and I plan to use this when I go to Thailand in December with um, my wedding spread. I thought Tropical Foil with it would look so cute because I am going to Thailand. It's a very tropical place. So I just got this in silver for now, um, and I'm planning on using it with one of my spreads, but I am still planning my other spread for the week I'm in Thailand or two spreads. I honestly don't know. I kind of want to do three spreads for Thailand because it's such a big trip, but I got that. And then I just got, I'll show you guys one of these because they are the same format, but I just got another, I picked up another hollow and lavender hollow because these are one of my faves and I love the bougie boxes, how they're different colors. I think that's so cool. So again, this is lavender and lavender, or lavender hollow and hollow, mixed metal moment in the new format. So I got that. And then I also just picked up a matte bronze and matte silver one in the same format as well. So I got two of these foil bundles just to have as extras. And again, that is all from her foil sale. Okay, I'm like breaking a sweat. So that is everything I got from Scribble Prince Co. And then I'm going to go into my Planna Hannah order, which I don't remember if this was a sale. I think it may, it was her like new releases after her holiday. Um, so I didn't know what Christmas kits I was using at the time. Now I know, but they still haven't even come in the mail. So I'm going to have to re- order stuff for that probably but I just got this little lollipop journaling card and then I got my freebies is that the only freebie I got I guess so so I got Andrea's freebie here no I definitely got another oh it's right here <laughs> I was like I definitely got another freebie um I also got this one so I got those two freebies and then okay so I ordered a bunch of things here so I ordered some Hanukkah stuff to go with my Hanukkah honey. Is that what it's called? The Hanukkah kit from Scribble Prince Co. So I got the underlays in the blue tie-dye, which is like a silver, gold, and blue mixed metal. And I thought this would look perfect 
with um that kit so i got three of those because i just wanted to make sure i had enough and lately two extenders hasn't been cutting it and then i got the bottom washi with like the menorahs and i don't know what those are coins straight i don't know um but i got that sorry again y'all i'm sick um and then i did get a custom script sheet which I'm definitely going to do these in other colors. I actually wish I got some for my Halloween spreads because it's not Halloween yet and I could have used them, but I thought this order wouldn't come in time. Um, but this is in the blue tie-dye to go with that kit. And so I got four Starbies, four dog parks, three works, one work from home, two meetings, cuddle Jake, sleep in, planning time, tired AF, film, edit, play with stickers with Oliver, with Jake, laundry, groceries, TV time, watch TV, Oliver, Jake, and 90 Day. And these are kind of like I just went through my plans and chose the words that I usually use most often or what I gravitate towards in a spread um and I just pulled from those and I really 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 like this idea and I think this is so cute especially with the mixed font so I'm excited about that and then I got the Hanukkah overlays and so you just have a bunch of different Hanukkah overlays here in the blue tie-dye as well and then I got the Hanukkah icons in just black because I thought these would be good to not only mark Hanukkah stuff, but any like Jewish holiday, high holiday. I celebrate with Jake. Jake is Jewish, if you didn't know. Um, and then I got these custom quote boxes in silver um, because we are getting married again. And this is to kind of go with that tropical foil kit I got going on so I have Jake and Laura 2022 love him so much I married him twice I thought that was cute um and then Bangkok because that's where we'll be in Thailand and then no or December 30th 2022 is actually the anniversary of 10 and a half years and we're gonna get married again on that day in Thailand for a traditional ceremony so I just got all that and then I got this custom sheet, which I honestly might get another because this is just so good. Um, so this is just a bunch of customs I thought of for when I go to Thailand that I thought I might need. So I have goodbye, Oliver and Jake, because I am leaving before Jake. So I'm going to say bye to them together. Um, and then I'm meeting Jake in Thailand. Fly to Thailand, fly to America for when I fly home. Reunited with Oliver when I'm reunited with him reunited with Jake when I'm reunited with him at the airport in Thailand. Um, I got a bunch of Chon Pen restaurants, which is my family restaurant there. I got a bunch of Chovable family time, which is the my dad's side of the family. Um, I got Chak Chu Chak Market, Lumpini Park, Asia Teak, the Riverfront. Oh, this one got ruined. MBK, the Grand Palace, Wat Po, the Reclining Buddha, Hohen, Rune Canuck Resort, which is our resort we have in Hohen, Thai Massage, Thai Wedding, Hair and Makeup, 10 and a half years, and the Queen's Dessert. Um, I might actually order another one of these also because this one got ruined and I'm kind of sad about it. But whatever. And then I did pick up this SPC Plan a Hanna collab. It just looks so good. I couldn't resist. So I went ahead and picked this up in Sparkly Hollow. So you have the icons, the fonts, or the scripts, I mean. And this just looks so cute. I love this font so much. I think it's so cute. You have the bottom washi, um, the deco header, some deco bits, and some date numbers. Sorry again, I do apologize that I'm sick. Some overlays um, and headers. And then some underlays. So I got this in Sparkly Hollow. And that is that for my Plan a Hannah order. And then I'm going to move into the Coffee Monsters Co. Which I think, I don't really remember when I placed this order. It was kind of a while ago now. Um, but it finally came. So I have this, which just says, I just want pens and notebooks and stationery for my birthday. Which is so relatable. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. I'm literally dying on the side here. Um, For the freebie, I got this, which just says I miss my bed. So relatable. Um, I like face palming the desk and then catch up on sleep, which I could honestly put that on like a full box or like 
a like as a half box in a spread because that is also really relatable for me. I'm always catching up on sleep. And then I got this cute little die cut I just saw with a little lemon. I'll definitely put that in my planner. Super cute. And then for the actual stickers I got, I got the dog care emoji. So you have like the one clipping its nails, the one giving vaccines, the one giving baths, and the one doing like grooming. So I thought that was cute. I did get two of those. I got the dog hair doodle. So you have the food, the little bone, the water, the paw print, the dog with the leash, which I honestly need like a whole sheet of these for dog park days would be so good. And then the little like brush and stuff to mark grooming, the little vet sheet thought these were perfect to mark the vet. I love those. Um, I got the family movie time to mark like all well, whoever honestly really doesn't have to be family members, but just sitting on a couch and watching a movie, one of them's asleep, which is really cute. Um, I got the road trip emojis, which is just like two little emojis in a car. I just thought these were cute. And then I got three of the summer critter ones. And can you guess why? Because of course there's a hippo onesie and I had to get it. I love hippos. So I saw these and I was like, yeah, I gotta basically purchase a billion of them. Um, I have a whole hippo character section in my storage, and so I'll just put those there. But I also really like the other ones because turtles are my um, college mascot. Um, and then I feel like the other ones are just relate more relatable than some of the other animals she's drawn. Like, a lot of these could use for a zoo or a farm um and then the cow ones I can use for squishmallows because I do collect cow squishmallows so I feel like it works so I got all of that from the coffee monsters co and then into my final order thank god it's only been 12 minutes and my voice is killing me um I have this from planner choco um so I did get this little like golden snowflake freebie here some little deco bits and then I picked up these little drink doodles which I think I might get more of in hollow and silver so with her shop her gold is like not doesn't match any gold I've ever seen so I kind of just avoid it <laughs> like the plague and if I need gold I won't go to her shop but any other thing I will go to her shop like if I like the foil um so I really really like these because I really like the size of them they're super small um like, this is them next to a Coffee Monsters Co. sticker, so they're literally so small. Um, so I really like those. I got the holiday sheet in just black because I thought, you know, I could always use more holidays. And I really liked the variety on this and the fonts and everything. And then I picked up some... Let me actually get my invoice out. Um, so I picked out... The dog mini bottom washi and dog solid header. So I got these for another dog spread I have coming up that I don't have slotted out yet. Um, but when I do have, when I do use it, I want to use this hollow foil with it again. And my last dog kit I did for Oliver's birthday was also hollow. So I needed more hollow dog foil basically. So I got these headers and then I got the bottom washi and then I got these two quote boxes, which I'm obsessed with. Um, so this one says my favorite people have paws and I love my human. So it's like the dog's perspective. And then you have life is better with dogs and dog mom, which I'm just like obsessed with. So I got those and then I did get the wedding again like this is like the 80th thing I've gotten for this one wedding spread in my planner in December for my Thailand trip. So I'm like planning on mixing this with this. I don't know. I have a lot of options going. Um, So I got the wedding bundle. So this comes with a sheet of um overlays and then a sheet of the washi the bottom washi some deco headers some regular headers headers and then deco i honestly really really like this this bundle i don't know how much it costs it doesn't say um but i really like the idea of this because this is super minimal and then you can just take pieces like i can take so many pieces from this um and incorporate it because i'll probably need more full box overlays in this this one has the bougie boxes this one has the icons the scripts all that and then i can use like these headers because they're a little more fun some of these overlays the bottom washi maybe i don't know but i just have lots of options that way so i really like that and then i did get some hanukkah foil some more hanukkah foil um so i got this all in the blue foil 
the light blue foil, which I wanted to try. And let's see how it compares to this. I feel like that match is pretty good, actually. Those blues. So that will look good together. So I got some more overlays because the only thing I got so far for Hanukkah overlays were quotes. So I got um, some full box overlays. So you have these and then I got some headers because I also didn't have headers. So you have menorahs, dreidels, the star, and then like a mix. So those are really cute. And then I did just pick up another Hanukkah deco sheet in just black foil. Again, I thought I could use these for not only Hanukkah, but any of the high holidays or anything um, that I use to mark stuff with Jake for the religion part, I guess. I'm not religious, so I just tag along with Jake's. Um, and he's not, like, <laughs> that religious either. But that is my mountain of stickers I got while I was in quarantine and in COVID. And I'll see y'all in my next haul clip. Hi guys, I'm here for the final part of my haul. It is currently November 1st, but I got this... Um, in the mail today but I want to go ahead and haul it because it is a Christmas order and soon enough I'll be doing like my Christmas sneak peeks and all that so I thought I would just include this in the haul and then I did get this wax melt order quite a bit ago but if y'all didn't know I did have COVID in the month of October so I've been putting off smelling these because I lost my sense of smell it's still not fully there, but I do want to go ahead and haul these. And if you guys want like a more thorough review, I would definitely check out my wax melt videos, um, my wax melt basket videos. Um, but for now, I'm just going to show off those and smell what I can. Um, so from Scribble Prince Co., I did place a rather big order. So I have this first and foremost. Um, so I have this card that matches the October mystery. I've, I've gotten so many of those now. Um, and then I did get the cane freebie in like a black color, which is really cute. That's super usable. Um, and then I got... The $75 plus freebie in like a brown color, which will be usable for my fall and, and Thanksgiving spreads. And then these two go with the other boxes. And then I did get doodles, which I believe I picked up the white ones of these. Yeah, I did. So I got the black. Um, it's color 048, if you're curious. And I can actually pull this in in this current spread that I'm doing right now. Uh, which will probably go up around when this video is going up. I just realized so I can pull that in, which is kind of nice. Um, but these are all the sheets. So you have 12, 11, and this is like a black um, sparkly too. It's not just a black glitter. I don't know. Um, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, which is the Disney one. So I'm going to go ahead and put those off to the side here for when I do this upcoming plan with me. I did get this rack bag, which I'm not going to keep because I'm just never going to use this. It's in like a... I don't know, some sort of hollow. So I'm going to de-stash that already. And then I did get this foil bundle, which was the gold and sparkly hot gold. This was the um, Misfit one, so it was like super affordable. And I just thought I'd pick this up if I want to use it. It was super affordable, so I figured why not. So this was supposed to be champagne lights, but it's more of like a hot gold with um the regular gold so I'll probably find something to use this for but I just figured I would get this because it's so pretty usable just the color is off so I picked up that foil bundle in the shimmer format 
and then into the kits I got. So I got my two Christmas kits this year. If you don't know, I am really only putting in space in my lineup for two Christmas kits this year because I am going to Thailand and having a second wedding and Christmas happens every year and that doesn't. So I am just doing two Christmas spreads in the beginning of December. So I really, really, really liked both of these arts and they came out the same week. So I just picked them both up. So this one's Merry Mistletoe. This house is just a freaking dream. Um, and this living room, like it's just so, so cute. And these colors are beautiful. They're so unique to like Christmas colors. And then look at that food. This one would be really, really cute color blocked, but I don't think I'm going to color block it. Um, well, maybe it really depends on the week. Love this bottom washi again. Love this like house scene what house goals and then it did come with this extra box which y'all know i love i used to have a shih tzu i literally have a shih tzu t tattooed on me like i'm just a shih tzu lover i want another shih tzu so the fact that this art came with a shih tzu is everything this is definitely going in my top left box and then you do have like a little bark box thing um which is also just like so freaking cute i do sometimes oh get bark box for my dog but I'm not like subscribed or anything um but I just thought that was too cute so I'm planning on using this kit if I can get this back in its cello and then I think I did pick up fashion girls for this so I picked up this one, which was number two, I just liked the options on this one a little bit more. So I picked up this one. Super, super cute. So I have to choose what foil I'm going to use with this. I'm thinking maybe gold would be would look best, but I don't know. Let me know what your guys' thoughts. So that's the first Christmas kit I got. And then the second and most likely only Christmas kit unless some other Christmas art comes out and I just need to have it. But these were honestly the only two Christmas arts this year that I was like, I need to have. So I'm glad that I got these two in. So this one is Pink Peppermint. This is Darcy Art. I'm absolutely obsessed. If y'all know anything about me, you should know I love pink. So an all pink Christmas kit, literally say less. I already got some foil from Planet Hannah to match this in pink hollow, which I think will look so good. I'm just going to go all pink out because I love pink. And I just think this art is so, so cute. It does come with these extra boxes here. And then I did get the fashion add-on. I love this girl with the Christmas tree hair. Like that is so epic. So epic. Um, So that is that for the kits the christmas kits that i picked up this year the only two i'm also doing hanukkah which is you know not christmas but it's still holiday art um so there will be three holiday kits i think in my lineup as of now so those were what i picked up from spc and make sure to use my code laura marie 10 to save 10 percent off and then i'm just gonna get into fantasy wax melts here um, so I've actually usually sniff this stuff before and don't open it on camera, but because I've had COVID and I lost my sense of smell, I have been putting it off. So here I am smelling it all cold sniff for, or cold sniff. I don't know. First sniff. I don't know the words, um, for you all. So First one we have here is Cupcakes at Tiffany's. This is a sample, and I'm pretty sure Cupcakes at Tiffany's is, like, chocolatey. That one's actually not bad. I didn't think I would like that, but that one's not bad. This is Sugar Milk, which I'm really excited to try. Mmm. Smells like, like, Cheerio milk. Like, it doesn't really smell that sweet, but... That one's interesting. And then this, so I think these were all part of um, the same release. And then this one was part of a different release that I just wanted to pick up that I didn't pick up previously. So this was Jigsaw in Almond Pastries and Pie Crust. 
I'm going to take this one out because I think it's so freaking cool how they layered that. Mm, I'm not really smelling much besides pie crust on cold, so I'll be interested to see how that comes out on warm. Again, my sense, my sense of smell is slightly off, so if I don't smell something, it isn't necessarily to say it's the wax's fault as much as it could be my nose and me getting over COVID. So this was like the Let's Blend number two. So these are what I picked up from that. So the first one I have is Miss Lemon Bee, which is tea and cakes, cornbread, and lemon pound cake. I'm getting a lot of tea and cakes. Again, don't think I can smell that much. Um, this one is Smells Like Home, which is lemon pound cake and zucchini bread. Oh my God, that one's amazing. So good. Really hyped about that. This one is Orange is the New Bread, which is spiced orange and zucchini bread. I'm getting mainly zucchini bread. Can't really smell the spiced orange. This one is Jam and Strawberry, which is strawberries, jam, zucchini bread, and sugar cookie royale. Getting a lot of strawberry. Again, my nose is definitely off on these. Plus, also, like, these need time to cure, so. This one is, this blend is bananas, which is banana nut bread, candied pecans, and zucchini bread. I've been loving banana scents. Low-key, high-key. I can kind of smell that. The banana nut bread's really good on that one. Ah! And then the last one I have here is Blue Bakery, which is Blueberry Zucchini Bread. Blueberry Zucchini Bread is one of my favorite ones from like L3 and the shops I have tried it from. So I was super hyped about this. And this one's so good. I love Blueberry Zucchini Bread. So that is that for my Fantasy Wax Melts order as well as my SPC order and everything for this haul for October. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Like this video, comment down below, and I will see y'all my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!